Okay, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube video, and today let's talk about classification of viruses. Now this can be a rather tough and a complex topic for many people, and today we'll try to break it down step by step and learn a few concepts and mnemonics along the way, so hopefully you'll be able to understand it better, and it might be useful for you in the future. So we'll begin with the DNA viruses. So there are a few general concepts that one should know before we start with the classification, and that is that naked viruses are always icosahedrals, and all helicals are enveloped. Now this is not true vice versa, like all enveloped are not always helicals and not all icosahedrals are not always naked viruses. So just remember this exact line that naked viruses are always icosahedrals and all helical viruses are enveloped. Once you remember that, a lot of things down the line will be easier for you. Now for DNA viruses, DNA viruses are all icosahedrals except for pox virus. And all, all of the DNA viruses are double-stranded viruses, meaning that they have double strands of DNA, except for parvovirus. Parvovirus is the only DNA viruses that is single-stranded. And all of the DNA viruses, they uh, replicate their DNA in the nucleus of the cell, except for pox virus. And the reason for that is that the pox virus has a virion associated polymerase. And this polymerase is a DNA polymerase, in contrast to RNA polymerase for the RNA viruses. Now, we can divide the DNA viruses into naked and enveloped, and the naked viruses can be further divided into double-stranded and single-stranded viruses. The double-stranded includes PAPA, which is polyoma and papillomavirus, and adenovirus. These both are double-stranded, and parvovirus, which is a single-stranded naked DNA virus. Over here, among the enveloped viruses, they're all double-stranded, and uh, double-stranded meaning that they have two strands of DNA, and their orientation is that it is one of them is circular and the other category is linear. The circular one includes hepadenovirus, which is hep B virus. And it is partially double-stranded, not completely. It has a complete negative strand of DNA and a partial positive strand. Now over here, among the linear category, we have herpes virus, that includes herpes simplex virus, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, varicella zoster and HHV6 and 8 and pox virus. Now there are various uh, types of pox virus such as variola, vaccinia, molluscum contagiosum and others like monkeypox, ORF, etc. So this is basically the DNA virus classification and uh, one of the mnemonics that we have to memorize the, uh, the DNA strand orientation is pardon papa as he has pox. Now, pardon is for parvovirus, which is the only single-stranded DNA virus we have. Papa, as I told you, is papilloma and polyoma, which is circular, as is adenovirus, which has a linear double-stranded DNA. HE becomes hepatitis B, which has a circular enveloped uh, double-stranded DNA virus. Has becomes herpes virus, which is a linear envelope DNA virus and last we have pox virus which is also a linear double-stranded DNA virus. Now we'll move on to RNA viruses. Now the RNA viruses, uh, the classification is a little bit complex so we'll try to move along pretty slowly just try to focus. We'll begin with the one first generalization that all of the RNA viruses are single-stranded except for one which is rheovirus. Rheovirus is the only RNA virus that is uh, single-stranded and uh, so we'll divide the RNA viruses into single-stranded and double-stranded viruses and over here on the double-stranded side we'll write down rheovirus and one of the examples of rheovirus is rotavirus that causes neonatal diarrhea. 
the your viruses are all naked and icosahedral. Now the single stranded category can be divided into positive stranded and negative stranded. First we'll look at the positive stranded viruses. All of them multiply in the cytoplasm. Multiply in the cytoplasm except retroviruses. Retroviruses are the only ones that multiply in the nucleus. Now we have a small mnemonic to learn different types of positive stranded uh, single stranded RNA viruses. Now that's call, pico, and flow to come running. So the call includes Calisi virus, which is the Norwalk agent, the Norwalk virus that causes adult diarrhea. And it also includes the Hepi virus, which is hepatitis C. Pico includes picorna viruses. And the, and the good thing is that the mnemonic is also picorna. We have polio, E for echo, another E for enterovirus, CO is for Coxsackie virus, RN for rhinovirus, and A is for hepatitis A. Flow becomes flavivirus, and most of them are arboviruses, and the mnemonic is CDEF. So C includes hepatitis C, D is for dengue virus, E is for encephalitis, and it includes Japanese encephalitis, West Nile encephalitis, St. Louis encephalitis, etc. F is for fever, which is yellow fever. Okay. Two is for Toga viruses, which includes VER, V is Venezuelan encephalitis, E is for equine, eastern encephalitis, and R is for rubella. Come becomes coronavirus, which includes the SARS virus, and one of the peculiar things about this is that it has club-shaped peplomeres. And running becomes retrovirus, which includes HOL, H is for HIV, O is for oncovirus, and L is for lentiviruses. And uh, lentiviruses usually cause sheep infections. Now, uh, the important thing is that we divided it in such a way because it'll be easier for us to memorize that call and pico are naked viruses and the other four category becomes the envelope viruses. So it'll be easier for you to memorize it that way. Now uh, we covered most of the hepatitis viruses in this. We have hepatitis C, we got hepatitis A here, sorry we got hepatitis E here, I'm sorry. Then uh, hepatitis C is a flavivirus. Hepatitis B, we saw that it was a DNA virus. One of the hepatitis virus that is left is hepatitis D. And uh, important thing about hepatitis D is that it needs hepatitis B to cause infection. And uh, it is a defective virus, not usually classified into uh, any of these categories. So uh, it's a single-stranded RNA virus. Now moving on from positive-stranded to negative-stranded, a couple of generalized uh, points about negative stranded is that they are helical, they are enveloped, and they have a virion associated polymerase. Just like we saw uh, pox virus has a polymerase, but it was a DNA polymerase. Here, the negative stranded viruses have a RNA dependent RNA polymerase. And the mnemonic for this is PROFAB, P R O F A B. P becomes paramyxoviruses, that includes measles, mumps, parainfluenza, respiratory syncytial virus. R is for rhabdo, which is rabies. O becomes orthomyxovirus, which includes influenza A, B, and C. F is phylovirus, which is Marburg and Ebola. And uh, we have arena virus, which includes Lassa fever and lymphocorion. Uh, it also causes lymphocorion meningitis. B is uh, bunia virus and includes hunter virus, California encephalitis, and Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. So this is basically the entire uh, classification of RNA viruses. One important thing to note is that we have a couple of segmental RNA viruses, which means that their DNA, their genome is broken up into segments. And uh, you can remember this by, uh, by memorizing ROBA, R-O-B-A, which is rheovirus, orthomyxovirus, bunia virus, and arena viruses. And respectively, they have 12, 8, 3, and 2 segments of uh, RNA. And uh, the only double-stranded, as we talked about, is rheovirus. Rest, all of them are single-stranded. So I hope that this uh, clears some confusion uh, for the classification of viruses. And uh, hopefully you like the video.
please comment below in case uh, you have any suggestions and uh, good luck. Thank you.